What's up, you guys? Welcome to part two of the King's Rule for Integration B Training for Advanced. In this second part of King's Rule, we're going to look at some very sneaky examples. Uh, in this video, we're only going to go over uh, three integrals, and they're going to be very, uh, very sneaky King's Rule integrals. It's just to uh, give you awareness of, of these kinds of integrals. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the first integral. So this integral does not look like King's rule, right? This is just some quadratic minus a quadratic instead of a radical. It's just, this does not look like King's rule. Well, in a way, this the solution, the quickest solution, is King's rule. You let u equal 2 minus x. Uh, oddly enough, <laughs> but it's it's a very sneaky uh, solution. And you can, I guess you could sort of separate this as, let me put this in colors. The left term has like x, x minus 1 plus 1. And then we have this side here, which I guess we could do let's see x square or I guess I guess we could do x x minus three plus three. I guess we could do that. All right. And then here uh, let u let's see x would be two minus u. Two minus u here, two minus so that would be one minus u plus 1, and this would equal like u square, well, let's see, minus 3u uh, plus 3. Uh, would you look at that? And then 2 minus u, 2 minus u, uh, that's 2 minus u, that's negative 1 minus u plus 3. And so we would have u squared, let's see, u minus 2u minus u uh, plus 1. Wow, would you look at that? So this is literally what we have here. So they interchange places. They literally interchange places. And of course, again, u and x, they're they're just variables, so we can interchange them because they're definite integrals. And so what we technically have is if this is equal to i, if our original integral equals to i, then this is also equal to i, which also equals to negative i. Whenever you see something like i equals negative i, then what this means is that the integral equals to zero. Okay, so this is very hard to see, right? This is one of those King's Rule cases where it's super, super sneaky, where most people would just do trig sub or something nasty, right, just to get it out of the way. Uh, but, yeah, I would have never thought of the solution as well. So, But I'm sharing this just so that uh, you are aware that this, this could happen, okay? All right, so here's another integral that you must watch out for. So, uh, shout outs to Sharky for making this integral uh, from uh, Cambridge University Integration B. And, oh my God, <laughs> just looking at this, I would have never thought this was a King's Rule integral. Okay, so, how do we even go about this? Right, this just this just looks like partial fractions or a rational function or polynomial division, and it's 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 ugly, right? Let me go ahead and just kind of set this up to let's see, three x x minus one plus four. You know, I'll just, I'll just leave it as is. I'll leave it as is, but. Yeah, this is this is no one no one would never thought of this. 
Uh, and I'm, I'm showing it to you now so that you can be aware of this. Okay, so let me surprise you with uh, King's Rule. Let u equal 1 minus x, right? I don't suggest you doing this a lot for rational functions because it's, it's usually you do polynomial division and stuff like that. You know, you, you dive into the answer quickly. Uh, but this is one of the cases where I'm just showing you that this is a King's Rule integral. And this is what it looks like. So if we do the substitution, we get pretty much 4 minus 3x1 minus x, technically. And then here, we get 1 minus x cubed plus 1 minus x plus 1. Okay. So the bottom is technically the same thing, right? The bottom is the same. Let's just focus on the numerator. Okay, so now this numerator is equal to 1 minus uh, 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed plus 2 minus x. And then if you notice that this is equal to uh, 3 minus 4x, right? And then plus 3x squared minus uh, x cubed. Let me rewrite this for you. Let me just rewrite this for you. 3x squared minus 3x plus 4 and then minus 1 let's see minus x minus x cubed huh interesting this is very interesting you see how evil this integral is? <laughs> do, do you guys see the, the evilness behind this integral? So pretty much what we have is this is equal to, uh, let's see, so this is the same thing as the denominator, right? So we have 1 minus, and then this integral here. So technically what's going on is if we let this equal to i, then what we technically have is we have i is equal to the integral of 1 minus i. Okay, so then what that means is we have 2i equal, well, it equals to 1. So the integral is equal to one half, and that is our answer. Okay, very cruel. Uh, will you ever come across this? No, this is very rare. <laughs> you'll you'll never ever see an integral like this. Uh, probably only like once, <laughs> once in your lifetime. I don't know, but um, yeah, this is this is cruelty. This is this is a very evil integral. Um, but yeah, just watch out for this. <laughs> I would I would most likely just go f dive into polynomial division. Uh, but if, I guess if you see something like like this, or let me recolor that. If you see something like oh zero one one minus x and oh huh, maybe I could put it in terms of. 1 minus x and, and stuff like that, maybe there's there's something, uh, then I'd say give it a try or pattern guess it. And then if it's wrong or you're not sure, then this is where you, uh, you just go ahead and do polynomial division uh, to check your answer and stuff. Okay? At least this integral is not very cruel, but it is. it looks like a long integral. Right, it looks scary, it looks monstrous. 
but it's at least the nicest integral so far in this video. <laughs> so, how do we, so how do we solve this integral? Well, there's something suspicious here, right? What's what's so suspicious about this integral? Well, we have zero to one, okay. Uh, one minus x. We we do see a lot of one minus x here, here, and in between here. This is technically x, one minus x. So we do have that. Okay, there's something going on here, right? So let's try using King's rule. Of course, King in King's rule, this won't be affected because of com commuted commutativity, and then here, same as well, commutativity, and then this will be flipped. Okay, interesting. So if we let u equal one minus x, we technically get from 0 to 1, we technically get the same thing except that now this is flipped 1 minus x over x plus ln of x ln of 1 minus x okay so now what? what do we do here? well what happens if we add them together? Interesting, right? If this is i, this is i, 2y is equal to, let's see, ln of x minus x squared, and you're probably already realized, wait a minute, ln squared, ln squared, we have and then this and this together, this is plus 2 ln of x, ln of 1 minus x. Ah, oh, you're probably already noticed. You already noticed. 1 minus x. So we're left off with this equation. What do we do here? Hmm. Uh, ln squared of x uh, minus 2 ln x ln 1 minus x uh, plus ln squared 1 minus x. Now this is technically the same thing <laughs> if you think about it, right? This is technically the same thing. So this cancels out with this. And this is the same thing. So we have 2 times this, 2 times that, uh, minus uh, 2 times the ln of x, ln of 1 minus x. Interesting. Okay. So what we have now is ln x minus x squared. Okay. Uh, let's put a 2 over here, and then let's see, ln squared of x plus ln squared of 1 minus x minus ln of x, ln of 1 minus x, dx. Oh my god! Okay. So I guess we could simplify this. Whenever you get like situations like this, uh, here's what I would do. Uh, for speed, this is for speed. Um, for the sake of speed, let me put this in orange. Let alpha, oops, alpha equal ln of x, beta equal ln of one minus x, okay. And let's make a note that alpha plus beta is um, ln x minus x squared. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Huh. Isn't that what we have? Right. This is this is alpha plus beta. And this here is alpha square minus alpha beta plus beta square. 
Oh, we should look at that. What is this? This is equal to alpha cube plus beta cube. Oh my god, look at that. And then now we have. So now in general, we have ln cube plus ln cube 1 minus x dx. Okay. And then, of course, in King's Rule, we can switch this. So what we technically have is 4, 0 to 1. Ln of oh I'm sorry I I think I almost forgot was this this whole thing was two i right we'll be very careful be very very careful do not forget that we are solving for two i instead of i so of course we know from gamma uh, this is equal to negative three factorial so what we have is four times uh, negative 3 factorial, which is negative 6, and this is 2i. So the answer of the integral we get is technically negative 12. And that is our answer. Wow. So be very careful, right? That was uh, very tricky. A lot of log manipulation. So it's a lot of juggling right a lot of juggling so sometimes uh, if you need to use use dummy variables to represent functions and then algebraically uh, manipulate them all right Whew. holy macro okay so that is it for this section uh, we will be doing more uh, King's rule stuff in the next videos so definitely stay tuned for that. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.